Okay, let's get this, let's get this, see if I can get this taken apart properly. Uh, wow. Okay, so uh, if I remember correctly, there are or are not um, things underneath the feet. No, there are not things underneath the feet. It's just these screws here. So let me grab my kit here. Okay, fun, fun stuff here, folks. Okay, the first thing I think we have to do is we remove the memory panel and that will allow us to get access to some additional screws that we're gonna have to, I believe, remove. Yeah, there's gonna be more. So I'll put these here and we can remove the memory sticks just in case. Um, just in case they get in the way for some reason. So, dim one, or dim zero and dim one. Okay, so we've got our two memory sticks out of the way. Now we can start removing, oh, these are security screws. Okay, I'm gonna get the non-security screws off here first. One, Two, three on the bottom, and then we've got two more on the back side. These are little guys. At least that guy was a little guy. Is this one longer? No, this is about the same size. And then we've got one, one, two, three, four, and there's one missing. Apparently there's a screw missing. I didn't even notice that. So this has been, I'm, I'm assuming that means that this has been taken apart before. Um, maybe by whoever owned it previously or um, Maybe it was serviced, and when it was serviced by the whoever did the servicing, they didn't in, reinstall all the screws. I mean, that sometimes, sometimes happen. It shouldn't, shouldn't happen. If you're paying someone to do service on something, they should not leave it in worse condition. Uh, nothing on the front here, it looks like. And then we've got one, two, three, four more screws on this side. And then we've got a. I don't know if I have to get those security screws to get this bottom piece off. That might only be if you need to get down to like the the system board. So let's get the rest of these off here. And we'll see if that solves our bottom panel problem here. Uh, no, yes, maybe. See, being not being not super familiar with 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 Max, I don't know all the like the tricks. Maybe you have to do some extra stuff here to get it open up that I'm not aware of. I don't want to break it by like accidentally like popping something I'm not supposed to pop here. Uh, maybe we'll take those. Maybe we will take those security screws uh, off here and here. These these guys here. Uh, let me actually wait a minute. Do I have the right thread here? Not that one. Uh, this one. That one's a little bit too small. None of the heads that I have here for this driver, or this 
bit setter. Oh, maybe they are kind of labeled here, but I guess I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> I don't know what size I'm looking for to remove here. Uh, is it a T5? That's almost right. So maybe we'll just say it is a T5. Even if it is actually like a T6, we'll say it's a T5. Okay, so there's one of those and one of those we'll remove. And then that's all the screws, I believe, holding everything on. So it should just be should just be like adhesive it feels like there's something it feels like there's like a screw like over here or something holding it in as well but there isn't it's like I got all the screws off um, I just don't know what I'm doing that's the only problem here is me not knowing if I'm doing it right or not I don't think the keyboard comes off separately. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. It was just snaps and stuff. You know what? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. There is another one. There's another screw that I completely missed. It's underneath this security check. So you, you all know if you've watched any of my other videos where I take stuff apart, sometimes I'm just an idiot and I miss screws like crazy. Okay, so we've got ourselves open here now. Let me take a look at our Gen 1 MacBook Pro board. Everything looks to be in good condition. Um, there's our hard disk drive. It's just 160 gig, I think, which is okay. Um, what I was thinking about doing is if I can get this all working the way I want it to, I'm going to replace this with a 500 gig hard drive and that way I can have the Mac OS installed and then do the boot camp and maybe try to install Windows 10 on this as well and uh, see how that works. But anyways, that's not what we're opening up here for. We're opening up here so we can get into this guy and uh, get him fixed. So let me take this off here and remove some more screws. So this is one here and one here. I think those are the only two screws for securing this, but it's it's kind of hard to tell. Oh, the screw this the the drive is like the disc is like stuck, sticking out there. No, go in all the way so we can get you out of the way. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. Can you see it? Can you see the white there? That's the, that's the, that's the disc. That's the disc actually like getting stuck. Okay. So if we now just kind of, oh, there is another, is there another, is that another screw? Yeah, there is. Man, oh man, Chris. Every time, every time, it's always at least one, always at least one screw that you're, you completely miss. Okay, so we can get to this and then Which of these connectors do I do on the board? I guess, well, I guess it's too late. We've taken it off the board. So our drive, looking down in here, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any dust or particles. There may be a catch on there that looks like it might, that's, it could be, oh, there could be something out of place there, but it's so hard to tell. 
let's get the see if these screws will allow me to remove the lid of this drive or not if it will um, just see how this goes on or not like how do I have to if I undo these screws how will it how does it need to come off and does this frame get in the way because the frame here might get in the way of of um, letting me do that I might need to remove let's remove the frame because I think that the frame for holding this in position inside the MacBook actually uh, will impede taking the top off. And now we should be able to remove these three screws on top. One, Two, three, and then uh, the lid should be, oh, is it this side or this side? Which side is the side that comes off and which side is the one that's on a hinge? That looks like it's on the hinge. So this is the side that has to come away. Oh, there's, oh my, there's more, there's more. There's this back, back plate here. Looks like it's in the way as well of taking the lid off. Okay, so now we're taking a look at our, our drive here. We've got our drive eject, right? This takes it in, holds it into place, and then we'll eject it back out when it's time to go. Our spin mechanism, which will which will accept, so when we install it comes into place. It's supposed to make it all the way in and then get caught and be able to spin. So that happens. And then when it's done, it kicks you back out. And then our our read mechanism is here and I don't really see I don't really see anything that looks like it's in bad shape like there's no dust there's no particulate none of these none of these springs are out of place or looking wrong so I'm not sure what I'm not sure what if anything is uh, is a problem at all inside of this Yeah, so I guess we're just gonna we're gonna put this back together and see. Like, is it was it a problem with the the this stuff here was like dirty or something and because it's old and it's crusty. Anyways, let's get this let's get this back together and. Uh, and installed back into the system. Just uh, do the opposite of everything that we did uh, without forgetting screws. That's the plan. That's the plan at least.
Okay, that's back on. Three screws. Now we got to get these pieces all back on here. So we've got this clips on here, like so. Screw number one. And then screw number two. And then you will plug back in here. Okay, now we've got to do this side. on like so. That doesn't seem, that's not right, is it? Yeah, but it's farther forward. It's like that. That's how it went. Okay, so these two guys here We'll connect our side panel number two, one, and number two. And then this piece here, which fit under here, goes like that. And that's just a single screw to hold that piece on. Right about there. And I just launched the screwdriver onto the floor. Okay, so we've kind of got that back together now. We can connect, we can reconnect. And then we plug our screws back in. So I'm gonna switch to the X screw here. So it's, maybe that one's not magnetized. Okay, and then we've got three screws to secure the drive back down to the frame. Was it three or was it two? Well, it was only it was only a total of two. All right, so there's our our pieces there connected. We can now reattach our keyboard. So we will clip down here, we'll get our captive tape back down as well. And then we will snap, snap it all back into home.
back into your go back into your little hole go back into your little spots and we'll we'll get the rest of these secured now so our little small screws will go wait yes our little small screws we'll just do them first um, one and then number two was here number three was here number four here okay and then back over to this side we've got well yeah we were missing one screw weren't we let me um, take a look here in my in my bin of screws here and see. I wonder if I have any screws that are similar enough to these guys to be used here for this. That's that's too long. Uh, they all seem. I've got some that are that are that are definitely, I think, thin enough. But well, that one's too big. How about this guy? That guy could work. Let's give this one a try. You can just give it a try. If it doesn't fit properly, then we won't use it. But No, that doesn't work. Um, any other ones in here look like they might be the right size? This one here. There's a, a wee, another wee one. Yeah, it's just not... Not quite there. Like when I take this and this and flip them up, it's just a little bit too thick. Just a little bit too thick. So yeah, it looks like we're not going to be able to fit something in place. I guess that's uh, you know another proprietary thing. Screws, screws for the MacBook Pro Gen One only work. Only work on the MacBook Pro Gen 1. <laughs> That's okay. We will just we will secure our uh, we will secure our side here. We'll pick which one of these needs it more. I guess this one over here by the ports needs it a little bit more in terms of being secure. So we'll plug in here and then we will. Get our two little guys in the back. One and two. And then our bottom, we have our long screws. Security screws. Just want to, yeah, I think that this 
this bit, this head is not exactly the right size, so that's why it's popping off a little bit. And then we can install our memory in our memory slot cover. Next, one, two. We put our memory slot cover back in, and then we will install our three screws covering up that piece. And we don't have a, a battery to install, as, as I mentioned. I am uh, short one battery. You know what? Just notice something. I think this screw here might go on the back, and this screw here goes here. They're the same thread width, but I just get the feeling that that's supposed to be a smaller memory, a smaller screw than the one that goes in the back. Because I noticed that the two in the back didn't exactly match. Or maybe I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Maybe it is supposed to be. Like there's these little guys, right? And what is this one? This one's more like, well, this one's more like these bigger ones. So maybe these are the ones and it's the little tiny ones that are meant to go on the back. Try it that way. All very confusing. Okay, we're just gonna do it like this. I wasted enough time playing with which way this goes. <laughs> 